but I do see a lot of spikes and a real rickety looking bridge. What is behind me? Hey! Hey! Hello and welcome to Indie Windy, Indie Windy. Do you have a house? I'll bet that you have a house, and if you don't have a house, you probably live in a house. Most people live in a house. There are some people that live in a ditch, but most people live in a house. Now, what happened if your house turned into a torture house? I don't know. I'm sure you don't know either. It would be pretty scary, or it might be really sexy. We're gonna find out either way. This is the newest, hottest indie game that's going around right now. The Torture House. Uh, I'm a little disappointed because I was, I'm looking on the menu here and I don't see any way to uh, turn off this filter that makes it all blurry. It it's, uh, looks like an old videotape. And apparently this is some kind of like snuff videotape. I don't know. But I wish I could turn that off, but I can't either way. Whoa, for your best experience. God damn, I can't even... See, you see what that looks like right now? That's what my eyes look like normally. That's why I need glasses or something. Use headphones, play in the dark, play alone. I'm not alone, I have y'all. Lock doors and windows. Okay. Ah, I didn't get to read the rest of it! Okay, what are you loading? You don't have to load videotapes. In September 1994, Victoria Atkins, a young aspiring model, was traveling through Cook County, Texas in search of a job opportunity when she suddenly disappeared. While it was initially believed she had simply become lost on the road, days passed without any sign of her. But what no one could imagine were the horrors of the ultraviolence she would experience in a place that could easily be described as hell, the torture house. I'm glad that stayed up long enough for me to read it. I am exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. My key has the number 107. You d We- I don't know. I don't know if this is appropriate to say I don't really care. She looks kind of ditzy. <laughs> you look kind of ditzy, but you know, sometimes it was- I don't know if you guys remember those old ho ho 80s horror movies. Sometimes it was the ditzy blonde that wound up winning the whole thing. That happened kind of often. Boy, it's dark in here. There's three cars. Do I have to keep up with this? Does it make any sense? I mean, what if it did? Well, I could say, okay, three cars. That means that there's two other guests here in this hotel. So I shouldn't be bothered unless it's by one of the two other guys. Bing bong. Bing bong. Elevator, I... Oh. Okay. Where? Ah, I don't need to go back down there. Don't tell me what I need to do. Not today, Ning! It's not your decision! I am the player, it's mine. I can't go into other people's rooms. What if I say you can? It's my decision. I'm supposed Well, it's a good thing I'm nobody's conscience, you know? People would really get in trouble while like that. I wonder if there's any of these doors I could go into. Okay, 107, right? What's at the end of the dark, long hallway? Nothing. Never mind. All right, let's go in. My room. It's my room, 107. It's locked. The key is... You know, I figure... I... Okay, I is inventory. Use it. All right, we do have a simple system here, and it works. Oh, just... Gotta headbutt the door to go in. Okay. I'm finally here. Where's the bedroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. Yeah, I know, it looks real heavy. 
I should put my things away in the bedroom before checking the rooms. But, but, you just asked where the bedroom was and now you don't want to check the rooms! What? I told you she was a ditzy blonde. I told you. What is this? Oh, caution. Maintenance in progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. For your safety, please do not entar. Okay, how do I get rid of that? Oh, okay. It's locked. This is... This ain't a hotel room, man. This is an apartment. Which, by the way, they have these. I've stayed in, you know, really large hotel suites before where they had a living room and a, you know, a couple of bedrooms and a different, and a kitchen, and they're nice. They're really nice. You can actually get used to, like, living in those and be like, I don't want to go home. I'm fine right here. And every day, you just hang the little sign, or you take off the little sign, somebody comes in and cleans the whole place up, and you don't have to touch it. Yeah, it's, that's one of those things, like, you know, I could live like this. I really could live like this. Anything in the fridge? It's almost empty. I should stay here for more days than I expected. So I should stay here for more days than I expected. I am reading that right, right? So I'll need to buy some things to eat. I'll think about it later. I still have some snacks in my backpack. Okay, well, what do you mean it's almost empty? There's food in there? Look, I don't know about y'all, but uh, whenever, if I check into a hotel room and there's a little fridge in it and I open it and there's like some sh food already in there, I'm not gonna eat that. And you should not either. This has been my tip for the day. Don't eat some food that you just find laying around. Y'all probably know that. She doesn't. I don't have anyone to call. Um, all right. What do I? Oh, all right. Well, I found the bedroom. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. Letter. Oh. Uh, dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I've heard from you. So I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time, so it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl, and how hard it is to find an opportunity for this type of work that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Your friends always ask about you. You should write to them, too. I always hear them telling others how you took your car and set off on your own stupid, ditzy adventure to chase your dream of being a model like in Hollywood movies, but for some reason, you went to Texas. What's wrong with you? Oh, I guess now I know why you don't write to them. Yeah, because she went to Texas. She, I, I, I know you don't want to disappoint them. Mom and dad are fine. Mom misses you and dad doesn't talk about much about you because while you wanted to be a Hollywood model, you went to Texas. You, you know how disappointing how he disapproves of your idea, but he loves you. And I love you too, Miss Future Miss Texas. With love from your sister, Lauren. Okay, I miss you all. I've been on the road for like four hours. I have to take a shower. Oh my God. Somebody hasn't had a shower in four hours. You must stank. You must stank like a like a hog in the sty. I'm going to guess this is the bathroom. Because I don't... Yeah, I don't think we can go in there. Um. Oh, oh, okay. I hear a storm outside. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, that's a fake mirror. No, I mean, in video games, looking in the mirror makes me nervous. Am I pretty enough? Will they like me? It's better for me not to put these things in my head. I know I'll manage. Well, you're in Texas, okay? If you're alive and you're female, somebody somebody there will like you. It. It's the Texas, okay? But yeah, usually when they make, uh, when you make mirrors in video games, you usually have to put a hole and re-render everything on the other side of the mirror to make it look like a mirror. But this is faked. It's actually very 
rather cleverly faked, I gotta say. Nice job, Dev. Bath up. In we go. Okay, are we... Oh, oh, we're gonna take a bath. Okay. I don't like baths. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't like baths. Because you sit in a bath, and you sit there and you wash off, and now you got this dirty, ugly, nasty water, and then you just gotta get up out of the water and the same dirt just gets back on you. It's like, ugh, no. Showers. Showers for me. Or if anybody wants to tongue lick me, you know, that's fine too. Do I? Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Oh! A key. Gee, I wonder what that's to. Uh, I need to get my clothes from my backpack. Well, I mean, you don't need to. You could walk around in this hotel room completely naked because, you know, there's, I'm sure, nobody watching you or anything like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Where are my clothes? I haven't, I can't have forgotten. <laughs> She's ditzier than I thought she was. She forgot to bring clothes. Oh my God, this can't be happening. I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this in the wash. I think I could wear this for one more night. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, right. I I, I should have. Sorry. I'm I'm just now. I'm checking my equipment to make sure it's recording right, and it it. It is, thank goodness. Cause I don't know if I could do this again. Um, all right, so I have a key, right? Yeah. Let's go over here. Uh, that's the letter. Use. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, what's the stain up? Oh, it's a hole. I thought that was a stain or something. Can I take the ladder? It's just an old ladder. Table. Table with some tools. Okay. What's that? A TV remote. Oh. Uh, what's it doing in here? I mean, that would... I, I would kind of be pissed if, like, there was a hotel and, and there was a TV but the remote to the TV was in a locked room that you can't get into. I, I would, I would call the front desk about this. I would, I would write a strongly worded letter. Um, it's off. Doesn't look like it has power button. I need a remote control. Crap modern TV. I don't know. Have you seen the ones that don't need? Uh, do you really want one of those old seventies TVs? use Welcome to Texas girl Wait and this is also the hangout for a new breed the Somebody's knocking on the door Or are they Okay the urban I think uh it's a guy that drives a pickup truck that, uh, that doesn't work in the back It sounds like somebody's knocking on the door Usually works maybe in a chemical plant Somebody's knocking on the regular job somewhere in the city All right. and comes out to Gilly's on a Hello? Ain't nobody. Oh, but I have a note. Someone stuck a note on the door. I'll read it. Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage to prevent flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. Oh, okay, so I can't leave. I'm stuck here now, even if I... Okay. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't like these games. Let me look. And I want to know what's in here. Oh, the stairs. These games where you have to headbutt the door to open them. That's a little bit of a creepy factor because 
you can't just stand there and open it and see what's on the other side. You have to go out. You have to actually jump into it, and you... Makes me a little bit nervous. In fact, I'm nervous going back in here now. Hello? Okay. You can't call a Texas unless you're drinking Lone Star and Jack Daniels and you were born here. Yeah. <laughs> of course, not all of these people were born here, but still, they are Texans, urban cowboys. Texas. They drink long neck beer. I'm sorry for hacking on Texas, by the way. I like Texas. I think it's an awesome state. <laughs> I actually lived there for a little while. I lived in Dallas. <laughs> uh... Oh, my. F I must have fallen asleep. Oh, shit. Um. What did the TV just go off? No s signal anymore? What year is this? What opened? Boy, uh, okay. I keep forgetting this is a horror game. Now I'm a little nervous. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Who is it? Um. Seriously? Ain't nobody? <sighs> I don't know who keeps doing that. Are you hiding at the end of the dark hallway? No. Well, I don't know how that magic trick keeps happening, but... I can't open that. Doorknob must have jammed. Oh, really? Now, how'd that happen? I don't, I don't like this. Ah! I kind of had the feeling that was going to happen eventually. I kind of had the feeling that eventually somebody was going to just like jump around the corner and get me. That was fun. That was a fun game. I mean, it, it did set up some tension because you knew that somebody somewhere was going to come out and get you? Uh-oh. Oh, it's not over. My arms. I can't move them. I'm in a coffin. Uh, I thought it was... I thought the... Oh, oh. What is this? Am I being gassed? Oh, it's water! Oh, this would be the worst. Oh, my God. That would be the worst possible way. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't even want to think about it. No. Uh, am I? Was that just the end of me? Oh, that's not the end of me. I thought the game was over. It ain't. Love how it says 14 NTSC when this isn't, when this is widescreen. <laughs> Little detail there. Okay. I can save it. It's extremely dirty and it stinks of piss. Well, why'd you pee on it? Manson family. Why are they talking about the Manson family? Uh, machine. Dusty old machine, I have no idea what it's for. Seems to have a chain making it work. I'd better not touch it while it's in motion. Do I have to turn it off? Uh, that's... I don't know what that is. It's a, oh, it's a paper on the wall with... It's a fake window. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? Weird. All right. 
This game's going a little bit further than I thought it would. Oh. Oh, what is this place? This must be the torture house. Uh, the hallways look awfully pleasant, though. Am I gonna die in here? I mean, probably the answer is yes. Okay. Locked from the other side. Oh! Oh! Hey! Uh, okay. Uh, another one of those windows. All the spotlights are on you. Audition, by the way. Now you're an actress, and your fans are eager to see you perform. Eyes are watching you from all directions. Live the spectacle! Sometimes it's necessary to give your life for the theater! Complete your scene, and you're one step closer to becoming an actress. Fail, and nobody will miss a mediocre actress. Script. Alice chased the rabbit through the forest until she fell into its hole. She found herself in a room with a small door, but Alice wonders how she will manage to get through it. This is a challenge she still needs to solve. Oh. Okay. I heard something unlocked. Huh? Oh, hi, camera. I have a feeling that I am a brand new star in a snuff film. Not, not the first thing I'd want to be in my life, but you know, can I get through this? Oh, oh, that's barbed wire. Oh, nasty. What do I have to hit the, huh? What do I have to hit to go? Oh, huh. okay. I don't want to screw this up. Oh. God, this would be terrible. Even if you're doing right, it would be terrible. I made it. I didn't die. I ain't bleeding. I'm feeling sorry for her now. What's this? It's pills, you dummy! Let's see. Seems to be some kind of painkiller. Uh, oh. What? Experimental reduction in combat of physical and mental distress. Increase in serotonin and, uh, noradrenaline levels to combat mental distress and stabilize the individual along with other substances. Rejected for mood stabilization and anxiety relief. Combats physical pains and aids in the healing of recovery of individuals, sharpens the senses, brings about stuff, side effects, organs, okay. Oh, hallucinations it causes, numbness, and in the long term, significant loss of vocal cords, panic attacks, seizures, and psychosis. Well, boy, that sounds like a good pill to me. Why not? Can I save it? Yeah. Let's save it after getting through that barbed wire. It's locked. Okay. Well, what do I have to do in here? Shutter. Where does it lead to? Uh, there seems to be a power box on the left. You know what I mean? Like this right here? Okay. Oh. It's not working. Okay. Now, it's probably broken. I probably need to find something to stick in there, a fuse or something. I can go up here. Hello? Locked. What's in here? Well, we can just walk it. Oops. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, what's this? Script. The rabbit seemed restless, euphoric, frequently checking his watch as he ran through the valley of uncertainty. After crossing past with Alice, his instinct was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed, and the more distorted his surroundings appeared, until, in the blink of an eye, an obstacle appeared in his path. Only the rabbit's scream echoed and could be heard by Alice. 
uh, soon a lesson she had learned. Um, when a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. I don't even know what that means. But I do see a lot of spikes and a real rickety looking bridge. What is behind me? Hey! 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 Shit! Ho! Somebody crapped my pants. Okay, now what? Uh... These look like numbers. But they're not, like, American numbers. What is that? Is that- oh, that's a that's the way some people write a seven. Uh, one, four, five, seven. I don't know- I don't know which one goes first. Oh, wait, what's this? Small key. Another piece of the script. Alice found herself trapped in that world devoid of faith. The sky was falling. She looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces around her. Her hand had been cut by the first fragment, leaving a blood stain followed by a more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one. Her escape was right in front of her while she was consumed by hatred and suffocated by the fragments of her key that some that seemed to mock her sensation situation. Was it delirium or just frenzy of madness that sighed from that place? All right. The door is locked. I know. But I don't know what's first. Oh, balls. I don't like this. One, four, five, seven. I'm going to try that. One, four, five, seven. Go. Nope. Um, four, five, seven, one. Five, seven, one. Okay. Five, seven, one, four. Seven, one, four. God damn it. Seven, one, four, five. One, four, five. I tried them all. Five, seven, one, four. I tried all of them. I probably got one of them wrong. What a waste of time. Your death was insignificant. God damn it. All right. Uh, four, five, one, seven. Aha. Uh -huh. Ta-da. Oh, we're, wait. We're back in here. What the hell? Why was that even there? Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa. Hold up. Before anything else happens. Let's save this again. Okay. Now if anything stupid happens to me... Uh... I can at least start without having to go through that again. You know, all these are locked. And I wonder what happens if I go through this door again. Cuz... Oh, that's not there anymore. What about this? Oh! Oh! Was that even the right way to go in the first place? Could I have just turned around and come in here the whole time? Table. It's full of old papers and documents on it. I can't read much. We knew you were ditzy. I mean, but apparently she can't read either. Uh, there's a photo of a girl tied up with a gun to her head. She looks devastated. I would be too. Uh, there's a photo of a girl tied up with tape around her arms and mouth. Why are those monsters doing this to me? I need to get out of this place. I'm glad you figured that out. Uh... Alright, locked. Um, well, I don't like this, because now I just gotta turn around and go back unless there's something in... Violin cabinet. Oh! What did I find? Um, anything? I I'm, I'm not doing this, this is just happening. Other filing cabinet? I'm 
I'm hoping that if there's anything important in here, it's just gonna tell me. Cause this is just like cutscene type stuff. Uh shelf. Just some old papers. I'm feeling like feeling like I might have missed something in there. Why would they have wait, did I look in this? Oh that glad I checked. Machinery room key. Okay. Alright. Machinery room key. That's not this, I don't think. Locked, but that's not. Small key? No. Okay, neither one of those. I think. Boy, I'm waiting for that. Whoever that is, I'm waiting for them to come after me again, because I know they're going to. Is that this right here? The lock is missing the outer part. I might be able to unlock it if I can reach inside. Uh, what does that mean? What about this? Locked. Well, let's try the keys. We have keys. No. No. Oh, wait. That worked. Oh, it's green in here. Why is it green? Machine. Seems to be broken. The chain is missing. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold up. Rusty machinery. It's very rusty. It seems it hasn't been working for years. What if I go get the other chain from that other room and put it in this? I mean, I don't know why, but it seems like a thing I could do. Why can't I reach in here? I might be able to unlock it if I can reach inside. Okay, can you reach inside? How do I do that? I don't know. Let's go back through here. Oh, do I? Oh, God. Oh, it's locked. Well, now I don't know what to do. Locked. Wait a minute. We hold up. Everything that's locked. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this key on. Huh? Oh, I think that worked. Hey, cool. Okay. Screwdriver. All right, we have a screwdriver. Now I'm trying to think of where we could use a screwdriver. Oh, wait a minute. Um, not here. Out here. Okay, I'm gonna figure some stuff out. I'm be smart. I'm be smart person, and I'm not gonna die or nothing. Where was that vent? I know I saw a vent, didn't I? Was it... Okay, maybe I did... Did I see a vent? Am I just imagining this? Okay. Uh, try the screwdriver. There we go. There we are. I like the puzzles in here. This is cute. Alright, it's open. And in I go. And, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be careful. Oh, cameras. Uh, okay. Oh, that's where I first came in and dropped down. Okay. Uh, uh yeah, I can't, it's hard to see. Um, what is this? What the heck is this? It's a woods. Uh, it's a door. Oh, I just unlocked it. Oh, and I'm out here. Okay, that... Wait a minute. I can't remember where I came from. Um, that's a door. Handle is stuck. I must have screwed it up when I fell into that hole. Okay, so this is where you... Okay, gotcha. So... Maybe... Do I have to go down here? I've already... No, this is where I came from. Okay, but I can get the chain now. Dusty old machine, I have no... Seem to have a chain making it work. I better not touch it while it's in motion. How do I stop it? Aha! Use the screwdriver. I knew there was. I knew there was something. Right, I got the chain. All right. So let's go up here. 
I think what's going to happen now is I'm going to put the chain on the other machine and I think it's going to power the switch that I'm going to open and that's going to hopefully let me out, but I don't know. It's probably actually somebody's probably going to chase me and kill me. So huh, let's let's all get ready for that. Boy, that's number one priority on my list. All right, uh, use the chain. Bonk. All right, there she goes. I'm gonna be in trouble now. Now I'm in trouble. I, I, ooh, I knew I was in trouble. I knew that I was. Go over here and grab this. Do it. Pull it. Okay. I, I don't know why scared. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, I thought so. Don't, don't, no! No, 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 no. Glad there's a box up in this room to run around. I don't like you. You have a knife. You can kiss my ass all to pieces and my life. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, bitch, I'm gonna, bitch, bitch. Which way do I go? Which way? I'm glad that box was there. My life would have, <laughs> to be continued, thanks for playing. Did you enjoy it? Actually, I did. Um, I did enjoy it. I thought it was fun. Um, and the puzzles were neat. You had to figure them out, but it was, oh, and it just shuts off. Uh, it was one of those games where you, you saw what was around and, and you realized what you had to do, but you didn't know how to do, how to do it until you'd find a thing. And then it would come to your brain and go, oh, yeah, now I know what to do. It, that feeling of accomplishment, that's kind of hard to get on indie games sometimes. But this, whoever um, made this game, he was right on, he was on target with that. Probably somebody who's played other games and realized how stupid it was when you didn't know what to do. That was pretty good. I liked that. Uh, indie game scale from 1 to 10. Huh. I'd give that one a, maybe a six and a half. That was pretty good. I liked it. I hope uh, whoever that is will actually uh, come out and either finish this game or make more, and I'll, I'll continue to check them out. Patreon.com slash Ranting Griffin. If you want to check me out, if you want to go over there, give me a few bucks every month so I can keep doing this because I take that money out and I buy things like hot dogs and potatoes, and then I eat them, usually at the same time. I don't even cook them. I just pick them up, crunch, hot dog, and I'm fine. And then I can keep hanging out and making these videos and episodes for you guys. That's all from me for today. Hope you enjoyed your Indie Windy. Thank you guys for hanging out with me again today. We will meet again in the next emanation. Until then.